I'm Mashni. I hope you are confident about solving simultaneous equations. In life, many problems lend themselves to being solved using linear equations, especially simultaneous linear equations. You don't believe me? Well, in this lesson, we are going to use simultaneous equations to help Lucky and a taxi business with their calculations. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to solve word problems using simultaneous linear equations. Let's look at our first example for today. Lucky is a disc jockey who works at Club Belaya. To do his job well, he has quite a large collection of records. Here, in this collection, he has 263 records. Some of them are vinyl and some of them are CDs. They asked Lucky how many CDs he has. Lucky didn't know. He just knew that he had 55 more vinyl than CDs. From what we know, can we help Lucky to work out how many CDs he has without having to count them all? First, let's make sure we understand what information we have and what we want to know. We know that the total number of records that Lucky has and he has a mix of vinyl and CDs. What we want to find out is how many of these are CDs. It might help to write down everything we know in a simpler way. Let's see. We know that the total number of records is 263. We don't know the actual number of vinyl and CDs. We only know there is more vinyl than CDs. Now what can we do? It helps to give the unknown number of CDs a letter symbol and the unknown number of vinyl another letter symbol. You can choose any letters for this of course. How about letting the number of CDs be C and the number of vinyl be V? Now let's see if we can find some mathematical relationships between these unknowns. You know from the question that 263, the total number of records, is made up of vinyl and CDs. Now how can I write this as a mathematical statement? I can say that C plus V is equal to 263. The information also tells us that the collection contains 55 more vinyl than CDs. How can I write an expression for V using this information? I can say that the number of vinyl is 55 more than the number of CDs. A sentence like this is easy to write mathematically. Let's fill in the symbols. Therefore, V is equal to 55 plus C. Once you've reached this point, solving the problem is simple. Look at the two equations that we have set up. We have two equations with two unknown values. We know three methods of solving simultaneous equations to find C and V. Now which method do you think will probably be simplest? The second equation already has V as the subject, so substitution should be easy. So we can substitute equation 2 into equation 1. Wow! This means that Lucky has 104 CDs. That's a lot of CDs. Now how many vinyl does he have then? To find V, we can substitute the value of C into one of the equations we made. Let's use equation 2 because V is already the subject. We know that C is equal to 104. So we get that V is equal to 55 plus 104. And this gives us a total of 159. So there are 159 vinyls in the collection, even more vinyls than the number of CDs. Let's stop for a moment and think about the approach we use to solve this problem. That will help us with other questions. 
First, we read through the problem and made sure that we understood exactly what it asked. Remember that if you are unclear about what needs to be solved, then you're going to get confused about how to find an answer. So take time to read the whole problem carefully. Then we listed all the information that was given. The number of vinyls and CDs was unknown, so we decided to label them C for CDs and V for vinyls. Then we wrote the problem as a mathematical relationship between the unknown C and V. At this stage, we decided which method to use to solve the equations. There were two equations in two unknowns, so we solved them simultaneously. We chose to do this by substituting. Then we found a solution for C, and there were 104 CDs in the collection. What did we do next? We used this answer to find out the value for V, the vinyls. Our last step is to check the solution of this problem. We check our answer by substituting into equation 1. We know the left hand side is equal to C plus V. We know the value of C is 104. We know the value of V is 159. The total is 263, which is equal to the right hand side. So, our solution was correct. Now let's use the same approach in the next problem. A taxi business in Johannesburg charges 3 rand for a single trip into town and 5 rand for a double trip. We spoke to a taxi driver after a busy day to see how much money he made. He told us he had 161 passengers that day and that he had made 671 rands. The business needs to plan for the rest of the month but has not kept records of how many passengers paid for a single trip and how many paid for a double trip. Let's see if we can help them. Let's first write down what information is given. The total money collected for the day was 671 rands. The total number of passengers was 161. A single trip cost 3 rand. A double trip costs 5 rand. We must find the number of passengers who paid for a single trip. What are the unknown values? Remember, we're looking for the number of single trip passengers. So let's assign a letter symbol to this. We'll call the number of single trip passengers S. What is the other unknown number? We don't know the number of passengers that pay for a double trip, so let's call this D. Now we can set up equations to solve. Look again at the information. What equations can we make? We know that the total number of passengers is 161. So we can write S plus D is equal to 161 as our first equation. What other information can we use? We know that the total amount of money that he made for the day was 671 rands. Let's set up a word sentence to show this. The total amount is equal to the amount paid by all the single trip passengers plus the amount paid by all the double trip passengers. Now, how much did the single trip passengers pay? We know that a single trip costs 3 rand. Multiplied by the number of single trip passengers which we know was S. So, the amount paid by single trip passengers is 3S. Now, what about the double trip passengers? If D is the number of double trip passengers and they paid 5 rand for each trip. Then the amount paid by the double trip passengers is equal to 5 times D. We know that the total is 671 rand, so we can write our second equation as 671 is equal to 3 multiplied by S 
plus 5 times d. And this is our second equation. Now the rest is easy. We just solve the simultaneous equations that we set up. Now you could use elimination or substitution. In equation 1, we have a coefficient of 1 for s and d. So solving for either unknown in this equation is simple. So I will use substitution. From equation 1, we get that s is equal to 161 minus d. And I'll call this equation 3. So we can substitute equation 3 into equation 2. We get 671 is equal to 3 multiplied by 161 minus d plus 5d. When we multiply out, we get 671 is equal to 483 minus 3d plus 5d. Great, we have an equation in one unknown. That's easy to solve. We get 671 minus 483, which is equal to 2d. 671 minus 483 is 188, which is equal to 2d. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, we get 94 is equal to d. What did this number mean? Well, 94 passengers paid for a double trip. So what's next? Remember, the question asked us how many passengers paid for a single trip. So let's substitute our value for d into one of the other equations. Let's use equation 3. We get that s is equal to 161 minus the value of d, which is 94, and this simplifies to 67. So what does this mean? 67 passengers paid for a single trip. Remember, we still need to check our answer. So we can see that our calculations were correct. Here's your task for today. Let's see if you can use the problem-solving approach to find out how old Vusi and Tandi are. Vusi is six years older than Tandi. In three years' time, Vusi will be twice as old as Tandi is now. How old are Vusi and Tandi now? In the next lesson, we'll be working with some more interesting word problems. Until then, goodbye.